Hey guys, it's Ali again. Today I'm going to be discussing my microbladed eyebrows. Yes, my eyebrows are microbladed. She has fake eyebrows. I do. I most certainly do. I always get a lot of questions on my eyebrows, my microblading, and all that good stuff. Um, I'm going to be answering a lot of my frequently asked questions that I get on them and discussing my experience and all that good stuff, showing you whatever. Let's get into it. What is microblading? <laughs> I haven't done a bunch of research on this, but it's just based off my experience. What they basically do is they get your eyebrows, they draw the shape to outline it, and within the outline, they make little tiny slits with a blade and they put pigment on top of it and let it heal that way so the pigment is absorbed in these slits. It sounds a little crazy talking about it like that because they do cut your skin open with a blade. <laughs> Technically. So yeah, that's what, <laughs> that's what that is in a nutshell, like in a very condensed explanation. Why I got my eyebrows microbladed is because my eyebrows prior to microblading were basically non-existent. I have eyebrow hairs, but they're so thin and sparse that you really can't see them a lot. And it's very obnoxious. I look whack. You know, like, it's just not right. They're just, when I, <laughs> anyway, that's why I got them. My eyebrows were trash. If something's wrong and you have the ability to fix it, then fix it. You know, don't feel bad. Don't feel like, oh, well, then I'm not going to be natural. Like, who cares? Live your life. Live it, girl. Or boy, if you want to get a microbladed. There ain't no gender. There ain't no discrimination. Let me start out by saying I went to two locations to get a microbladed. It's actually been a year since I last got a touch-up and I will show you everything. Um, so, I first got my first microblading session in December of 2016. I went to a place called Brow Bar Lux in Waxahachie. It was like an hour long drive. I initially got my first touch up for about, mm, I think it was $200. They were having like a Christmas special. I don't typically think it's that much, it was a deal. The way they were offering it was that my next session would be $90 because when you get your first session, initially your body will reject a lot of the pigment because it's new and it's on your face, you know, your body reacts to it accordingly. Um, so initially you get your first session and then two weeks after you go in for your first touch up um, my first one, like I said, my first session was $200. My uh, touch up was about 90. The people there were very nice. Um, I feel like they were not as experienced as I thought they would be, but it was fine. Like no shade, no tea. I'm just saying when I asked the lady that was doing my eyebrows, um, her experience, she said she'd only been doing it for six months. I mean, they came out fine, but it hurt like i'm not gonna lie they put numbing gel on your eyebrows and then um then they started slitting away she had kind of a heavy hand so it actually really hurt probably more than any of my tattoos because the numbing gel i feel like it wore off it was painful i had blood dripping down my face and i was like oh my god don't let that scare you away okay because she just she happened to have a heavy hand so she was kind of you know doing that and this and that um Two weeks later, I came back, I got my second touch-up. It, it was cool, it was all fine and dandy. So I went to get another touch-up in, I got it six months after that, so it would have been like, like August-ish of last year. And I went to a different location this time. I went to this place called Perception Fine Body Art in Carrollton. Um, I think my experience there was better than the one in Waxahachie because the, the person who was doing it, she was more experienced, she had a lighter hand, I feel like her strokes are better and like more realistic looking. Um, so I got that touch up. That one was about, mm, honestly, I think it was about $400. I don't remember the exact price. Um, the only reason it was so expensive was because it was my first time at that location. So they kind of charge you different if it's your first time as opposed to if you're reoccurring um, 
clients. I think it was definitely worth it because it's been a year since I've gotten them touched up and honestly they look great. I personally love them. Um, right now I have makeup on them. Every time I wear makeup, even if it's just mascara, I do fill them in to make the my face look a little more made up. But when I'm not wearing makeup at all, you know, like I'm perfectly fine with having them bare. I think they look great all on their own as opposed to how they used to look. Um, I'm gonna insert a clip of how they look like without makeup right now. In conclusion, um, it is a little pricey, but in my opinion, it's worth it, especially if your eyebrows are very sparse and you feel insecure about them. Um, definitely get it done. You'll My confidence went up tenfold after I got them done because I didn't feel like I had to wear makeup all the time anymore because I, I used to feel like I couldn't leave anywhere with my eyebrows like not filled in. Now I can just wake up and go outside and not care. So I personally think it's amazing. I had a great experience. I think it's definitely worth it if you're considering getting it. Um, if you have any further questions, just let me know. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Thank you. Every view is appreciated. But yeah, if you have any more questions about it, feel free to message me or comment down below. I will definitely be answering all of them. But yeah, thank you so much. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.